Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to flash Clipper firmware on a STM32 F103 based uh, MCU so for example the Maple Mini or the Blue Pill I personally like the Maple Mini more but uh, you can use this method for Blue Pill as well if you wish, it's the same CPU there You can also follow this instruction for the ADXL345 MCU I designed which is basically a schematic wise, basically a clone of the Maple Mini So. Uh, yeah, you can yeah, follow the same guide there. And uh, to do this, you will need uh, one tool, and that is the USB serial programmer. I'll link the one I use, which is this one, in the description below. And uh, if you are using the one I'll link, you may or may not also need uh, uh, drivers here, so I'll also link this so you can download your drivers. And uh, well, that's about it. The first step is to do the wiring. So uh, what you have to do is jump boot 0 to uh, 3 volts and boot 1 to ground and uh, then you need to do the connections with the uh, uh, programmer I'll get to that but I'll show this also on the maple mini, sorry the blue pill that was the maple mini, this is the blue pill and with the blue pill you have this area so you can do the jumping of the boot pins easier so uh, again jump them like this Next you need to connect the uh, 3 volt and the ground, so ground is obvious enough, you wire ground to ground but 3 volt on the Maple Mini, you run it to voltage input and in the same vein, on the while you run the ground to ground on the blue pill you run the 3 volt, 3 volt or it may be VCC on your unit by the way to the 5 volt which is actually the input on the blue pill and then you need to connect the serial pins so uh, I'll do the show this on the Maple Mini you connect RX to uh, TX and TX to RX so you cross them because uh, well T, T and R stands for uh, transfer and receive so if one unit is transferring the other one needs to receive so you can remember it that way and uh, yeah I'll, they're marked here which pins then you need to connect to and uh, the, here it is for the blue pill and the instructions are pretty similar for the ATXL345 MCU that I designed you just jump these two pins and these two pins you can use a regular jumper for that if you wish and then you use these four pins to connect to your programmer so you can see the pin out here this is TX so you connect RX here and this is RX so you connect TX here again they're crossed and this is VCC, so you connect your 3 volt here and ground here. And uh, yeah, you can follow the rest of the guys for the rest of the steps. And uh, it is that simple. Now uh, you will also need a flashing program. If you are doing this on Windows, like I'm going to show you, uh, you will need the software by ST. You can download it here. It will ask for an email address and stuff like that, but uh, yeah, eventually it will let you download. And then you will also need a bootloader. I personally like the bootloader here. And uh, yeah, you can find the appropriate one in the binaries folder. But do read this if you're using a blue pill. There are many variants of the blue pill out there. And uh, yeah, you need to use the correct version. So yeah, you have to go through this written guide to figure out what it is. And then you find the correct version here and download. If you're using Maple Mini or my ADX L3485 MCU, it's the Maple Mini version here, which I've already downloaded. And then you open the demonstrator GUI, that GUI that's the program's name here. And uh, from here, you select your COM port. In my case, it's COM6. If you have multiple uh, serial devices connected to your computer, you might have multiple COM ports there. So you'll have to figure out which one it is, but in most cases you only have one serial connected to your computer, so you just select that, hit next, it's, uh, it says it's readable, so you hit next again. And here it figures out which STM chip it is, so again you can just hit next here as well. And now you need to s select download to device from here, and using this you need to uh, select your uh, bin file that we just downloaded from the website one thing you have to remember is uh, this defaults to S19 files here so you just select bin files here and then you can select the Maple Mini 
that we downloaded and uh, you can uh, leave everything as is but just one thing I like uh, checking verify after download here so that we know it is there and uh, yeah you just hit next again it's downloading the bootloader to the uh, unit there and now it's verifying it and there we go it's that simple it is now ready to use so the next step is to build clipper for STM32 F103 to do that all you have to do is go to the clipper directory on your Raspberry Pi I'm doing this on the computer with a Debian uh, virtual environment but it should be the same steps and here first of all I like to run uh, make clean just make sure there is no uh, rem remaining uh, make file stuff in the directory and then you do make menu config this will take a while and there we go now you can choose the steps here so the microcontroller architecture is the STM32 the processor model is STM32 F103 and we are using the STM32 Duino bootloader and we want to use USB so you can leave everything as is from now and then exit and save while you're exiting and then make and it should build uh, a clipper firmware for the MCU so we're at the last step but unfortunately this is one I can't demonstrate with uh, screen capture because I can't do this on my main computer here you have to do this through your Raspberry Pi as I said so uh, all we have to do now is actually flash the firmware to the MCU so connect your uh, first of all remove all the wires from it and especially the jumps between the boot pins and then connect your uh, MCU with a USB cable to your Raspberry Pi and then all you have to do is you have to run this command which flashes the uh, firmware to your MCU it didn't run in this case because there isn't anything to flash to but under normal normal circumstances it will flash a clipper to that and once you successfully do that I switch to uh, to my Raspberry Pi for this demonstration and once you replug your MCU in if you do the dev serial by ID you should see your uh, STM32 chip listed here for a serial port so you can edit your for the uh, your printer.cfg according to that so in my case they are disabled here but uh, that's beside the point you can enter the serial path as usual and use your MCU for uh, whatever you need buttons additional uh, uh, drivers or ADX.345 whatever it is you can do your uh, printer.cfg configuration based on that so it is this simple uh, all we did was flash a uh, bootloader and then using that bootloader flash clipper firmware on the unit and uh, yeah it should work it's that simple so uh, yeah as I said it's a pretty simple process and everything you need will be linked in the description the download size etc and I'll also have a written guide there I'll probably combine all of the links there into the written guide and just link that but uh, so that there isn't many links in the description but uh, yeah you can follow the written guide as well but uh, yeah as I said that's it for this video so I hope you found this video useful if you did please leave me a like down below and thanks for watching